In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Good morning, St. Paul. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called children of God. Jesus said that. That's one of the Beatitudes, part of the famous Sermon on the Mount. Blessed are the peacemakers. Last week, it was announced internationally that Barack Obama, President of the United States, was awarded the annual Nobel Peace Prize. Now, when Barack Obama was sworn in as President of the United States back in January of this year, most of us had the inauguration. If you were a student here at St. Paul on uh, the television sets in your classrooms, we had it on in the hallway outside the main office. It was an exciting day. It was like a, a beautiful warm wind on a cold winter day. It was just so beautiful because you could sense that the world was changing. Barack Obama was elected president with hope and aspirations of millions of people. He had a message and a vision and an optimism that was just irresistible. When he was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize late last week, I personally was very happy. It's not business as usual in Washington anymore. Hopefully Barack Obama will continue, he will grow, he will promote peace. Already he has approached international politics in a way of dialogue. Already he has approached international politics with a mission to end nuclear arms. Let us hope and pray that he will continue to promote peace, that he will continue to be a, a great leader on the international stage. But in talking about Barack Obama and the Nobel Peace Prize, I may be missing the point, the point that Jesus would want me to mention this morning. And that is, is that you and I are called to be peacemakers too. You and I are called to be potential winners of the Nobel Peace Prize. You and I have to go places in this world that Jesus wants us to go to promote peace, to promote dialogue, to reduce confrontation and conflict. Let us ask for the Holy Spirit's guidance. Let us ask for patience. Let us ask God to help us be peacemakers. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. St. Paul, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a great day, St. Paul. Good morning, St. Paul's. My name is Desmond, and here are your morning announcements. There will be an Act Now meeting Wednesday after school in room 132 in order to discuss the upcoming events for October. Photo retakes are this Wednesday. Any student who were away on photo day should have their photo taken this Wednesday. If they miss this day, they will not have a yearbook picture or ID card. To have a retake done, they must have their original proofs with them. If anyone forgot to hand in their foot picture, order last Friday, they may still do so Wednesday when the Life Touch representative will be at the school. And now to Skylar for Sports. The first trap for the girls varsity hockey team is on Tuesday, October 20th from 3 o'clock to 4 p.m. at Cawthor Arena. The first trap for the boys varsity hockey team hockey team is on Wednesday, October 21st from 3 o'clock to 4 p.m. at Cawthor Arena. All forms and money must be submitted by the end of this week on Friday, October 16th. Forms will not be accepted on the day of the tryout. See either Ms. Baglioni or Mr. Fernandez for further information. Junior Boys Volleyball. Just a reminder that tomorrow, Wednesday, there is a mandatory practice arranged to stay until at least 4.30 tomorrow. Hello SPAC, there will be a meeting today after school in the cafeteria. Also, those SPAC members who volunteered to design the board in the cafeteria 
will be meeting after school. If anyone is interested in collecting volunteer hours, help is needed at today's basketball game at 3.30, as well as on Thursday for the doubleheader volleyball game. Please see Ms. Hontar if you're able to help. Teachers, the envelopes with the names of the students in your fourth period class who have purchased tickets will be delivered to you at the beginning of fourth, of fourth period today. As, as well, please excuse members of the girls' flag football team at 2.15 for the game today at Arendale. Hey grade 9 and 10 fans, tickets for today's game will be on sale during 3A and 3C lunches for 20 minutes. Senior students must check with their fourth period teacher during fourth period to see if there are extra tickets available. The mini camp for, for boys junior soccer team continues this week. All those wishing to participate are asked to meet on the backfield. Be ready to go by 7.15 a.m. tomorrow, Wednesday, October 14th. You must have your shin guards and cleats. Dress appropriately for the weather. That's all for today, St. Paul. The song of the day is Firefly by Owl City. Have a great day.